Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, and this is a fantastic tech edition of the show. We're going to be looking at the Star Wars Jedi Challenges Augmented Reality Kit by Lenovo. And on this episode, we're going to find out more about this kit, more about virtual reality, if it's worth your money, and there's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The kit includes the augmented reality headset, the lightsaber, a tracking beacon, cables for your phone, and a cartridge for your phone. The lightsaber is beautiful, very authentic, it has that metallic finish, two buttons, also a power switch on the bottom, and a power port on the bottom as well, along with a power LED. Truly, as Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, a elegant weapon for a more civilized age. This is the augmented reality headset by Lenovo. On the side you have a select menu and cancel buttons. The velcro straps are easily adjustable. The headset overall is very light. It is designed to accommodate your phone inside and once inserted the image from the phone is converged into a single picture, but because this is an augmented reality headset, you can kind of see the background. So this projection will be all around you once you're wearing this headset, but you'll still be able to see your surroundings. All right, let's get started with the setup and I'll show you quickly what to expect when setting up the Jedi Challenges set. The application is available on the Android and iOS store. The setup walks you through every little step. Very easy. I had zero issues setting up the lightsaber and the entire setup. Here you can kind of see what some of the steps I went through, like calibrating the lightsaber. And next you have to place the tracking beacon on the floor away from any obstacles so you can maneuver when you're playing the lightsaber battles or you can place it on the table instead if you're going to be playing the hollow chess or commanding your troops in the strategic battles game. So as I mentioned the phone has to be inserted into the augmented reality headset just like that and then attach the included cable from your phone to the AR set. All right, so here I am wearing the augmented reality headset. Very comfortable, very light, easy access to the buttons on the side, and I can see everything around me. All right, this is the first thing I'm seeing inside the headset. You have to press any button on the lightsaber, and that's pretty much it. You are pressing the buttons on the lightsaber. You are pointing at menus you're gonna see through your experience all around you to make selections and play the games. All right, this is the very first intro once you power up. Oh, that was great, but you haven't seen anything yet. So you install the application, you see this little video, and then uh, updates download right away. And then, young Padawan, your training begins. Greetings, my friend in the Force. Yeah, that's right, you're not seeing double. This is a recording off my phone, and my phone is projecting this double image onto the mirrors of the augmented reality headset. And those mirrors converge that image into a single image that you'll be seeing when you're wearing the headset. So in other words, when you're wearing the headset, you're only seeing a single image, all right? Now the reason why I'm showing you the double image version is because if I zoom in to one side of the image, you might lose out on important details from the 
gameplay or the story. So with that, let's get back to our official Jedi training. I am the keeper of knowledge stored in this holocron. You can call me the Archivist. The Force must be strong with Honestly, you. I don't even think this uh, pretty good recording can do what I, what I was seeing justice. This is a life-sized uh, figure that you're experiencing here. I step, I'm stepping back and uh, it's just uh, the detail is remarkable and what you're not seeing here in the recording is the background and uh, I'm in my living room. I can see the living room and this figure right there. <laughs> remarkable. Press the activation matrix on the hilt to begin your training. Very good. I sense this saber was meant for you. Let's try a simulation. I will watch. Here comes your opponent, a B-1 battle droid. By the way, there is a lightsaber sound, but it wasn't recorded on this recording for some reason. You have now taken your first step on the Jedi path. To become a Jedi, you must prove your skills by besting some of the most notable duelists throughout history. But to truly master this holocron, you must go even further, passing not only the trial of combat, but also the trials of leadership and insight. Most importantly, you must become a master of the Force. Of course, you can't have Star Wars without the amazing soundtrack by John Williams, so I'm very happy that is included in this game. This star chart contains locations to the trials I spoke of. Each planet represents a unique set of tests. That's right, I just stepped into the star chart here. I'm surrounded by all these planets. This is truly an immersive experience. I think it would make even, even the most serious Star Wars fans giggle with excitement. The sound, by the way, is just top-notch as well. Just, uh, wow. Alright, so your training begins in Naboo. You have to complete certain stages first before unlocking new stages and new characters there is a sequential order to this game. So, very first one, let's try it out. The Leadership Challenge. Welcome! In this and subsequent challenges, your leadership in battle will be tested in simulations inspired by galactic events. This one imagines a conflict on Naboo between Republic clones and Separatist droids. Let's take a quick look at the battlefield, shall we? The battlefield is divided into two areas. Your territory is shown in yellow. Your opponent is in red. You can only place units in your territory. Raise your lightsaber to access the command center. Wait left or right to select different units. Select a laser tower. Good. Now place your laser tower on the highlighted space. Then press the activation matrix on your lightsaber to confirm. Excellent. Now have the laser tower target the door by gazing at it and pressing your lightsaber's activation matrix. These doors are jammed. Battle droids inbound. Take defensive positions. Well done. At any time during a battle, you can assign a high-priority target to other objects by doing the same. Now your clone soldiers can charge into battle and protect Naboo against the droids of the Separatists. They're gaining ground on us! We need extra support! Your troops need strong leadership to help focus their efforts. Select a leader from the command center and place him on the battlefield. So as you can see, the battlefield is in your fingertips, literally using the Jedi challenges kit. This is an example of the strategic battles you'll be experiencing. But there's so much to show you and so little time on this video, so let's move on to the next one because we have a lightsaber and we want to use it. Now you must set yourself and your blade in the force while holding your saber in front of you and keeping... Very 
very good. You are centered. The force flows through you and your blade. It's time for the first wave. Watch for opponents. That battle droid is a... Nice work, but be careful. Another wave of enemies is approaching. That was a lot of fun, but let's move on to some more challenging opponents. How about some Imperial Stormtroopers? In this stage, you will face Imperial Stormtroopers. There are many types of troopers equipped for various combat situations. I did not notice any lag between my movements of the lightsaber and what happens in the gameplay. So if you're gonna move your lightsaber to block or to hit, it's going to be instantaneous. Next, I want to show you Hollow Chess, and this is the game that we saw first on episode 4 of Star Wars. And it's totally great. The chessboard is going to be right in front of you. You're going to have your monsters versus the other opponent's monsters and they go at each other. I got to show you this. it hollow chess in your living room or your study or your kitchen wherever you like to have it as long as you're wearing the augmented reality headset <laughs> uh, truly brilliant it's just brilliant so the Star Wars Jedi challenges kit will give you the ability to do lightsaber battles you can play hollow chess, you can engage in strategic combat. Of course, all this is Star Wars content. This system is used to exclusively engage in Star Wars gameplay. And it appears Lenovo and Disney are committed to providing new content because there was a new update to the uh, system content directly from the Last Jedi movie that we just got to see in the theaters. Uh, the experiences include the chance to duel two Praetorian Guards at the same time, three new strategic combat levels, and the introduction of Porgs for the first time in augmented reality as in in-game rewards. Oh yeah, and I'm standing in the middle of Naboo here <laughs> from episode one. Naboo, here in my living room. Yeah, great. <laughs> so to summarize, this system only supports Star Wars gameplay. I'm not sure if the augmented reality headset will be used by Lenovo in other systems, but I think there's good value here if the, if the latest release is any indication with the new content from Last Jedi. Lenovo and Disney seem to be committed, at least for now, to keep this system updated and fresh with new content. Look at these graphics. just. <laughs> Great! <laughs> I love it. The system goes currently for $179 on Amazon. 
The app is available for both iOS and Google phones. For a list of supported phones, check out the Lenovo site. I got to use it with my iPhone 6S and the 7 Plus. So that worked out great. Again, the battery drain on those phones is <laughs> horrific. Uh, but again, you need the phone to play the game. I should also mention that in the lightsaber battles, you get to battle against Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, and other famous dark side characters. And with that, I'm going to leave you with my battle with Darth Maul. Thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. Remember to click like, subscribe, and tell your friends and family about the show. See you next episode for more robot and fantastic tech reviews.